guys, it's Vanity Rose, and we're back with another video. And as you guys can tell by the title, we are going to be doing a three-toned pink ombre smoky eye. I'm not sure what I'm going to call this video or look yet. Using the Morphe X James Charles palette. If you saw one of my like recent videos, I did a collective, well, not really a collective haul, but I did like a Ulta and Sally's and Amazon haul mainly Ulta stuff, but I got a few things from Amazon and Sally's. Um, I hauled this along with a couple of other palettes and I finally dipped into it. And let me tell you, Morphe never disappoints with their formula. It's super easy to blend. It's super pigmented, really nice. Overall, I must say James Charles did a amazing job picking the colors out in here. So on that note, if you want to see how I created this three-tone look using this palette, um, and especially if you guys have this palette, you can follow along with me if you like the look or not. Um, yeah, if you want to see how I got it, then just keep on watching. Okay, so my eyebrows are done. My eyelids are primed. I used the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Medium 28. And we are going to get right into this palette. I know this is old news, but this is new to me. I'm pretty sure everybody knows about this palette or has this palette. I am a little bit late to the party, but whatever. I got it now and that's all that matters. Um, and honestly, it's, it's true what people say. This thing is ginormous. So I'm going to say the shade names that I'm using. And then we're going to go through it really quickly. And then I'm also going to show you what I'm dipping into as we go. Just in case you don't remember the shade names or you don't have the insert that has the names on it. Okay, so I didn't set my uh, concealer. So I'm going to use the shade Canvas, which is the shade right here, to set that down. And then I'm going to take the shade Punch Me, which is the shade right below it, and put it in the crease. Then I'm going to also add 10% off, which is the shade right here, and also add it in the crease. Um, and then I'm probably going to mix the shade Skip with a dark color. Probably no beans or spooky, because it is a black. And then I'm going to cut the crease with concealer, and I will most likely be using a shimmer shade. So I will probably use ring light, which is this shade right here. So let's just get right into the look. I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas to cut the crease. Oh 
we're gonna spray it because it's not really showing up that like intense So I just placed that shade right there and I was just using a blending brush with no excess product on it to blend it out. So that is it for eyeshadow for now. Um, this look is a little bit complicated at the moment. I always do this look, a three-toned type of look with pink and a shimmer and a darker outer corner and I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's the concealer but it's just really hard to blend at the moment. I know it's not the Morphe palette, I hope, because that's expensive, it's almost 40 bucks. Actually, what's tax it is 40 bucks. So let's move on to the rest of the face. So right now, I'm going to apply some liner. I'm gonna use the Essence Super Precise Eyeliner, and then I'm gonna use my W7 Mascara, and then I'm gonna pop on some lashes. One of my friends asked me how I do my wing liner and I normally don't use tape because I know how to do liner without it but this is a tip and trick slash hack. You put tape here, do the liner when you take it off it is going to be as sharp as a knife. Okay, so moving on to the face, I'm taking the Kypris Antioxidant Dew uh, Serum to moisturize. Then for primer, I'm going to take the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. So next is foundation and concealer. So I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Caramel. And I'm going to use the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 18. So next I'm going to cream contour and set my face down. So I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Stick in the shade Call Me Maple. 
And then anywhere I put concealer, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in the shade Honey. And then for the rest of the face, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder in the shade Medium Dark. So next I'm going to take the Wander Beauty Trip for Two Blush and Bronzer Duo and use the bronzer and blush in here. highlighter I'm taking my physician's formula butter highlighter in the shade champagne so for the lower lash line I'm just gonna take uh, this shade, blow it out on the bottom, put some of the pink and black on the outer corner. So I'm in a like, big rush. I gotta go pick up my mom and then go to an appointment. So I'm probably gonna fill the intro and outro in my car. But I'm going to do the lower lash line. I'm taking the Milk Makeup Gel Liner in CEO, my mascara. And then for the lips, I'm using the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF3 and a mixture of my Live Glam Lippies. So Rome for the darker shade and then Paris for the lighter. Oh, and then for setting spray, I'm using my Pixi Glow Mist. Okay, so I was gonna try to film the intro and outro in my car, but I forgot, and I'm in the doctor's appointment, and I don't want to do it here, so I'm just gonna film it when I get back home. Okay. But this is how the look came out. I'm, I'm obsessed. It looks so much better now with like lashes and everything. I really like these lashes too. Okay, so I'm back home. Once again, I'm in my bathroom. I find myself in here quite a bit now for certain little parts of my videos because my son likes to come in and like follow me and stuff, which is okay, but I kind of try to keep my video audio to like a minimum of like distraction as far as noises go. So for the intro and outro, okay. 
I'm going to be in here. So uh, that brings this video to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play around with the Morphe X James Charles palette. I absolutely freaking love this palette. It's like super huge. When Before I made this purchase, I was looking for the mini and I couldn't find it anywhere, but I guess Morphe actually has the mini on their website and I was looking on Ulta. I'm happy that I got it. I don't mind having big palettes. They don't overwhelm me at all. I just like enjoy looking at them a while before I dip into them. Not because I don't know what to do, but I just like to appreciate every single color, every single pen. Like makeup is such a big passion for me. It's ridiculous. Like as you can see. <laughs> So yeah, I'm definitely going to keep this sleeve. In my videos, I show you guys what shade I dip into, just in case you missed the name or you don't know, I, you can visually see what I'm doing. But overall, I really do like this palette. I'm super impressed with um, the quality. It's Morphe. Their, their shadows are normally good. I love the Jaclyn Hill palette. I do plan on purchasing the second volume probably before Christmas. Um, but overall, I'm super, super satisfied with this purchase. Um, so yeah, if you want to see more looks with this, comment down below. Drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. I would love to have you guys join the Rose family. We are growing quicker than I expected. We are on the road to 1K. We are currently at like 7, 17, I think. And... Yeah, I feel like we just hit 500 subscribers yesterday. So, yeah, on that note, I hope you guys are staying safe, staying blessed, having an amazing day or night wherever you are. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!